Hi, it's Maggie Dolby here again, and I want you to know that I'm coming to you from one corner of my office for a reason. I want you to look at these three pictures, not not what's in the picture so much, but just the fact that they're all in a row. They appear like they're in a row. They're all even with each other, perpendicular to the floor, parallel. Oh, they look lovely. Well, I'll tell you what. It took me about two hours, yes, two hours, to get them to this state. Why? Because I'm not a very smart learner, I guess. You know, I thought it was a simple problem. Had three pictures, measured how wide I wanted them to be, did a little simple math, no calculus, no differential equations, not even an algebra problem in my mind. Figured out where to pound those three little nails. Wrong, wrong. I pounded those three little nails, tap, tap, tap. Hung my little pictures up. What's the matter with them? They were all GGB. Every one of them, every single one of them was on a different level than the one next to it. Now, how did that happen? Was my math bad? I checked my math. No, it wasn't. I looked at those pictures and thought, how did that happen? So I took them down and I laid them on the desk. Hmm. You all are probably smarter than me. You know what happened. Those little hangers on the back, they were all different levels. They weren't all put on the same spot on each one of them, relative to the one next to it. Hmm. So, therein lies my problem. Now they're all jiggity-jaggity. And do I, I don't even know for sure where I wanted which picture when I began with. Well now, there's no interchanging them because they're all stuck on the level that they're at with the nail that's behind them. Frustrating, frustrating. But I made it. But here's my caution to you. If you're going to paint, remodel, build, or even just wash your walls and take things down and fill in holes and move things around, and you want to put in middle a level plane to each other, those paintings back up, be sure to check the hangers. But I have a better, a better solution. One that will make you happier and take you less time. Don't hang them in a row. Stagger them. That way it doesn't matter what the hangers are like on the back. They'll be just perfect every time. Every single time. Well, it's a lovely day and I think I've got flowers in the house. I planted flowers outside. They're not growing yet. The cladiums will be growing in a couple weeks. The irises are blooming. I don't think my tulips are going to make it this year. They look like a, a tulip cemetery with one leaf sticking on them each one. I'm not sure they're going to make it, but, but, I hear someone with a lawnmower, and I think I'll mow my lawn, and then I'll challenge them to a lawnmower race. I'm getting good at lawnmower races. People never suspect that I'm so good at lawnmower races, but i got a baby Hummer. That's what I call my lawnmower that my husband bought me. It's a fantastic one. It's super, supercharged, supercharged. Anyway, that's my Magnolia Minute. Be careful of how you hang your pictures. If you want to save yourself stress and anxiety, just hang them jagged to each other. Stagger them, stagger them. Don't worry about level. Yeah, then it's not necessary. Anyway, that's my manual for the day. Y'all have a good time. Bye-bye. <laughs>